Hello and welcome to an Empower Servers tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add someone as an admin on your Rust server. So firstly, you're going to need the Steam ID 64 of the person you want to add. So I'm going to use the website steamid.io. Now there are two ways to find the Steam ID. First and the easiest is just to log into the website and it'll take you straight to your profile. But if you don't want to log into this third party website, head to Steam view profile and then on your profile click edit profile and as you can see here i'm on this page you can use this custom url here and look it up so mine is it's rv2 i'm just going to copy this using Control and c head back to steamid.io and then input it in the input box and press look up and as you can see here it's found my profile so the numbers you want are the steam id 64 numbers and you can just press this button here to copy to your clipboard now you want to head back to empowerservers.com, click login and click game control panel. From here, I'm going to go onto my Rust server. Now there are two commands on Rust to grant players admin commands. First one is owner ID and this grants players admin commands and allows this player to add and remove other admins. And the other one is moderator ID and this has the exact same permissions as the owner ID command but this admin cannot add or remove other admins. So you may want to make your friends moderator ID'd and you want to give yourself the owner ID. So in this case, I'm going to be using the owner ID and then you want to paste in that string of numbers we just had. And now after that, you can give yourself a name and a reason. So I'm just going to put name Harvey and reason owner. You don't have to include the name or the reason, but I'm just showing you that this can be done. So now just press enter and it will say in the console added owner. Once you see that message, we need to save the config. So then you're going to type in the command write CFG. And as you can see there, config saved. Now head to the file manager, the server folder, the Rust folder, the CFG folder, and then users.cfg. And as you can see in here, it has the owner ID, my Steam ID, and then the reasons I put earlier that I told you weren't vital. But as you can see here, this is where it prints them. Now I'm gonna add a moderator as well, just as an example. I'm just gonna add this person as a moderator. So I'm just gonna use the command moderator ID, the Steam ID. Let's give him a name and a reason, uh, promoted. And as you can see, moderator has been added. We're gonna run the command write config again, and I'll save the config. And as you can see here, it's been saved inside the users.cfg file. Now let's say you want to remove a moderator. I'm going to remove Gabe here. So the best way to do this is grab their Steam ID from the users.cfg file I showed you how to get to earlier. And I'm just going to copy this to my clipboard, head back to the console, and you just want to type in remove moderator and then their Steam ID, press enter, and it'll say removed moderator. Now, once again, we're going to save the CFG and head back to that file to show you that the changes have been made. And as you can see, Gabe has been removed. Now, it's a similar command to remove the owner. I'm sure you might be able to guess. It's just remove owner and then the Steam ID. Once again, we're going to save the config using the write config command going to head back to the file manager and show you that the changes have been made and as you can see now the users.cfg file is empty so by giving someone owner or moderator you give them access to all admin commands and this is useful for managing the server so that's how to give someone administrator privileges on your rust server thank you very much for watching if you require any more support the fastest way to reach us will be via live chat located in the bottom right corner of your screen at all times thank you for choosing empower servers